Okay guys, I found a bug in application and I would like us to take care of that right away, okay? So I discovered that when I actually try to load the login and register page, like most of you must have discovered, we can't compile the template. So Vue.js throws a warning and says it couldn't compile the template. And why is this? Because before we had just the notification right here and we were trying to access the auth property or the ID of the authenticated user. Meanwhile, we were not yet locked in. Okay. So I just went ahead and wrapped this in an auth check. So this component will only be mounted at this point if the user is authenticated. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Now, the next step of our project would be actually loading the feed of the user. So I would like when the user logs in right here, He's redirected to the home page and he can create posts and right here and right here all the notifications or the post of his friends would be displayed right there and uh, he can go ahead and like or maybe comment or do whatever it is that they do okay so right here he can create a post because we already took care of this we can go ahead and create a post and what i would like is we'll have a component which displays the feed of the user meaning it makes an ajax request as soon as this page is loaded it gets a list of all the users friends post it displays them right here and uh, as soon as it displays that the user can go ahead and like and do other things and uh, when we create a post i would also like this post to be added to the feed in real time so it means we'll have maybe post created notification and uh, would broadcast this notification to all the users for instance hey hey your friend just created a post and it's gonna automatically push right here to the feed and it's gonna be the first post right here okay so let's go ahead and do that so looks like we need a new view component and uh, I'm just going to call this components feed so in a resources assets JS directory in our components I'm gonna create a new component and this will be feed that view and uh, I'll go ahead and register this component and uh, this component will be called feed when we mount it and this will be feed okay so that looks good back to our feed component this is gonna be a list of post okay so a list of posts and we are gonna build up this post and this component is simply going to get to our endpoints in our database get this post and then display them okay so first of all maybe when we mount the components we're gonna have a message like loading and uh, as soon as the posts are loaded we're gonna display them in this component okay so looks like we need a way to display our post so let's just go ahead and make sure this template is mounted so first of all just say div container and uh, right there i'll have a row and in there i'll have a div column large 10 and a column large offset of one okay so that looks great now i'll have a panel and uh, right here i'll have a div panel body or heading before the body and uh, right here i'll just say I'll just add a text center and the right here I'll just display the name of the person who posted that comment okay and uh, just for placeholder text I'll put in my name and uh, the next thing would have a body so a panel body and uh, we're just gonna have some lorem ipsum text right there just for plus just for placeholders okay now uh, we're gonna obviously be updating our components but we want to see this in action okay so what we're gonna do is re recompile our gulp so we'll say gulp okay so the next step is to actually mount this component in our home view so home.blade.php so right here after the post where we can create a post would we'll mount our feed right here okay and this is just going to be the feed of the authenticated user so if that works we should be able to see that component right here so let's refresh okay so that's mounted and uh, the next thing is actually to fetch this feed from the database and we're going to be building our field using Laravel. So we'll just build the field and uh, once Vue.js makes a request to that endpoint, Laravel is just going to send the list of posts. Okay, so we'll do this in the next lesson.